What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Tuesday, September 15th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NBA playoffs, let's take a look at this two game main slate. At the point guard position, I like Kemba Walker from the Boston Celtics playing the Miami Heat who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing point guards, but Kemba Walker has averaged 34.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. He scored 35 fantasy points in 43 minutes last game with a 20% usage rate, and he's projected at 33.9 fantasy points here tonight, that's 4.6 times value. He's 7,400 FanDuel salary and 300 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 209.5 points scored in this game. So I like Kemba Walker here versus the Miami Heat. Now, if you want to save some salary at the point guard position, take a look at Lou Williams from the LA Clippers playing the Denver Nuggets, who have the 8th best defense overall, and they give up the 4th fewest fantasy points to opposing point guards, but Lou Williams has averaged 30.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. He scored 27 fantasy points in 24 minutes last game, He's projected at 24.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.5 times value. He's 5,500 FanDuel salary and the same price on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 207.5 points scored in this game. So I like Lou Williams here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Marcus Smart from the Boston Celtics playing the Miami Heat who have a good defense overall and they've been good versus opposing shooting guards. Marcus Smart has averaged 29.5 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate. He's projected at 32.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. Now, just keep in mind that Gordon Hayward may be coming back. Not, not sure if that's going to eat into his minutes or not because he's been playing monster minutes. He played 43, 49, and 34 minutes in the last three games, scoring 38, 52, and 29 fantasy points. So he's projected at 32.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 6,400 FanDuel salary and 500 more on DraftKings. So I like Marcus Smart here versus the Miami Heat. The other shooting guard that I like here to give your lineup some salary relief is Tyler Hero from the Miami Heat playing the Boston Celtics who have a good defense overall and they've been good versus opposing shooting guards. But Tyler Hero has averaged 22.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 36, 19, and 25 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 32, and 31 minutes. So I like those minutes that he's playing. His production has been pretty good for his price point. He's projected at 25.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's only 5,000 FanDuel salary and 400 more on DraftKings. So I like Tyler Hero here versus the Boston Celtics. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. This might be my favorite value play of the night. 
I like Jay Crowder from the Miami Heat playing the Boston Celtics, who have a good defense overall, but they're only middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Jay Crowder has averaged 24.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 16% usage rate. But take a look at his last three games. He scored 31, 30, and 29 fantasy points, playing 32, 30, and 34 minutes. He's projected at 27.1 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.3 times value. He's only 5,100 FanDuel salary, and he's 700 more on DraftKings. So I love that FanDuel price. So I like Jay Crowder here versus the Boston Celtics. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. So there's not much for small forwards here on the slate. It's Jay Crowder, then you got Jalen Brown and Kawhi Leonard. Those are the only three small forwards that I'm interested in playing here tonight. So I'm gonna move on here. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Jason Tatum from the Boston Celtics. He's been a stud for the Celtics. He's 9,800 FanDuel salary, and he's 100 less on DraftKings, but he scored 57, 65, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games. So he's been the best player on the court. He is priced up though. So if you wanna save some salary at the power forward position, take a look at Paul Millsap from the Denver Nuggets playing the LA Clippers, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the eighth most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Paul Millsap has averaged 23.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He scored 17, 28, and 13 fantasy points in his last three games, so you're hoping that he can at least get together a 20-plus fantasy point game for you. He is projected at 18.9 fantasy points here tonight. I think that he scores 20-plus fantasy points in this one. He's 4,700 FanDuel salary and the same price on DraftKings. This would be a player that you put in your lineup to get some salary relief for your other positions to fit in those studs. These two game slates are always hard to find quality value, but I like Paul Millsap here versus the LA Clippers. And a nice mid-range play for you at the power forward position. I like Daniel Tice from the Boston Celtics playing the Miami Heat, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing power forwards. Daniel Tice has averaged 24.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game with a 15% usage rate. Now, he was in foul trouble last game. That's why he only played 23 minutes. He still put up 19 fantasy points, but he scored 32 and 31 fantasy points in the two games before that, playing 47 and 30 minutes. He's been playing consistently 30 minutes or more per game in the playoffs if he's not in foul trouble, which I don't expect him to be again tonight. He's projected at 25.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.6 times value, but he's got that 30 plus fantasy point upside to get you five times value or more. He's 5,600 FanDuel salary and 100 more on DraftKings. So I like Daniel Tice here versus the Miami Heat. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Nikolai Jokic from the Denver Nuggets playing the LA Clippers, who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Nikolai Jokic has averaged 
44.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. But take a look at his last three games. He scored 62, 49, and 48 fantasy points, playing 39, 40, and 38 minutes. So monster minutes, he's been productive. He's projected at 49.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. He's 10,200 FanDuel salary and 200 less on DraftKings. So I like Nikolai Jokic here versus the LA Clippers. If you're looking to save some salary here at the center position, I got two salary savers for you here. First one is Ivica Zubak from the LA Clippers playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a good defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Zubox has averaged 21.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 18 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. But take a look at his last three games. He scored 23, 18, and 27 fantasy points, playing 29, 31, and 29 minutes. He's projected at 21 fantasy points here tonight. I think you can bump that up to 25 fantasy points. I think he's going to get you five times value or more. He's only 4,700 FanDuel salary and 100 more on DraftKings. So I like Ivaka Zubak here versus the Denver Nuggets. And a super value play for you if you want to take the risk. I like Kelly Olynyk from the Miami Heat playing the Boston Celtics, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing centers. Kelly Olynyk has averaged 18.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 19 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. He's been injured, but he did play 17 minutes last game, put up 27 fantasy points with a 30% usage rate. He's projected at 22 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.2 times value. He's only 4,200 FanDuel salary and 700 less on DraftKings. So a super value play over there on DraftKings. I like that DraftKings price. So I like Kelly Olynyk here versus the Boston Celtics. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again, and good luck.